I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your kettlebell workout. Kettlebells are all over the place right now, and they're a great tool to really get your body working in a different way. I've got one of my kettlebells here, it's an 18 pounder. We're gonna do a lot of different things with it, but I'll give you options if maybe you have a lighter kettlebell. I know some people have fives or tens. Some things will feel a little bit different. Just work to your level. And if you need to switch it to your dumbbells or drop the weight completely, that's totally fine as well. So the weight distribution with the kettlebell is different. That's one of the things that makes it so much harder for us. That's what we love about it. So just be careful if we're doing some things and maybe moving, just be aware of your surroundings and where your kettlebell is at all times. So we're gonna start, just march it out and actually go ahead and drop your kettlebell to begin with. We'll just march, roll through those shoulders. Big deep breath in, in through the nose, out through the mouth, more time in, and out. Okay guys, so go ahead and squat down, grab your kettlebell. The first thing that we're gonna do, if you need more of a warm up, get it on your own. We're gonna go ahead and jump right in. So we're gonna hold the kettlebell, what we call holding it by the horns, and we're gonna go ahead and start in a deep squat. So feet shoulder width apart, and just sit low into that squat, press up through the heels. Sit low, press up through the heels. So just make sure that you're really getting low, trying to just get sort of in that regular squat motion, but if you want, take it to that goblet squat, that's okay too. Just make sure because you've got the weight in front that you're not letting it pull your back. So when you get here, you're not here. Or if you're getting really low, that when you're coming up, you're not pushing through out of that. I'm gonna keep it up, keep it at your chest, holding by the horn, squat it down, press it up, squat it down, press it up. Keep going a few more times with that. There we go. Three. Two, and one. Excellent, guys. So from here, keeping it by the horns, we're gonna go into our bicep curl. So we're dropping it down, then we're pulling it up into our chest. So it looks like this, here to here. So again, a little bit different in the weight distribution. So you're gonna feel the difference in your biceps, and we're also in nice and tight. So keep those elbows in, breathe out. If you have one of the lighter kettlebells, maybe you have a five or so, and you wanna take it to one, that's okay too. If you've got the heavier one like me, hold it by each side and curl it in. A couple more, two, and one. Now what we're gonna do, guys, you know what I love to do, put them together. So hold it at your chest, drop down in that low squat, curl down between the legs, curl it up, and then press up from here. So we're gonna curl at the bottom, low. And again, get super low if you want. Goblet squat, I love it. Drop those hips even lower. And you should feel your abs working. Abs are working a lot to stabilize because of where the weight is. So you feel a little bit of abs and obliques. It's subtle, but it's there. One more like this, guys, and then we're gonna add on to it. And we love to do that as well. Let's add a press. So drop it low, curl at the bottom, press up with the heels, shoulder press. Drop it low, curl, and press. Totally up to you if you wanna hold that bell out where we're here at the press or down. Doesn't matter, just nice, good form. Here, and again, you don't have to go as low into that goblet squat. You can keep it more that regular squat, but stay low. Press into the heels. Let's get two more. Last one. And relax. Excellent work, guys. March it out, shake it out. So again, you should feel a little bit of your abs stabilizing and a little bit of your back working just by the nature of where we're holding the kettlebell. Don't be alarmed by that. As long as we're not feeling that pressure in our lower back, letting the weight pull us forward, that's totally fine. Okay, so let's go right leg forward. I'm gonna hold the dumbbell in my left hand. Abs are pulled in, and I'm gonna drop in a regular lunge. So we're just here to here. Show you from the side. Drop it low, push up. Same rules apply as our regular lunge. 90 degrees both legs. Push out of that front heel, chest is lifted. 
back is straight. Good. So keep here. And if you want a little bit of a challenge, we're gonna hand that kettlebell off at the bottom. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna make us get really low. And it's gonna throw our balance a little bit. So you should feel a little bit unsteady, that's okay. Feels like too much, just keep it in that other hand. Hand it off. There we go, we'll go eight, whew, seven, six, five. So even though we're getting low, make sure that chest doesn't drop too much, not yet. Three, abs, two, that's what we want. And one, excellent. So keeping that right leg forward, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. Left leg back, we're gonna go in our row position. So flat back, shoulder blades back, and just hinge up the hips. Your feet are a little bit further apart. Flat back, bring that elbow up. So you don't have to be that far back. You can kind of bring it in a little bit. Knees are soft. And again, if you got the heavier kettlebell, really pay attention that we're not rounding in that back. I know we're tired. Keep it flat. This is heavier. If you've got a heavier one like me, it may be heavier than you normally row, but you can still do it. If you need to, you can take it to two. We'll go four, three, two, and one. Good. Guess what, guys? Let's put them together. So right leg forward, left leg back. We're going to start in the lunge. That's your starting position. Drop it down. I'm going to put my opposite hand out just to make sure that my back stays flat. I'm going to push up out of the lunge as I pull up in the row. We've done this with dumbbells before. It's a little different with the kettlebell. Flat back. You can do it. It's challenging, but you're strong. If it feels like too much, just do either the lunge or the row. We'll go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, five, keep that chest lifted but low, four, three, two, one, good, bring it up. Whew. As you get tired, as I just was getting tired, make sure that you don't lose that form. Flat back, good lunge position. So, let's give our legs a break. I'm gonna take my toes out, so this is called the windmill. So toes are out, let's put in my right hand, resting against my right leg on the inside. I'm gonna take that left arm up, straight as I can make it, and I'm gonna bend down to the floor, and then push up through my left leg as I come up. So you feel a nice, good stretch through this side, through the oblique, and then as you come up, you'll feel, really feel that side working. Take your time. What we're trying not to do, guys, is bend in the hips or the knees. Try to keep them straight. Really get that stretch. Sort of remind you of the triangle from yoga. You can yoga. And keeping that arm straight up. So the advanced version would be to be holding another kettlebell up at the top. We don't need to do that today, but just imagine that it's there and we'd be doing what we call spot the bell, looking at the bell. Down, bring it up. Really good oblique exercise, guys right in those love handles, four, three, harder than it looks, two, especially if you've got a heavy kettlebell, and one, good, guys, breathe. So how about we get that lunge on that other side? So left leg forward, right hand has the dumbbell, we'll start with the regular lunge, chest is lifted, here we go, drop it down, and press up. Really focus on your form, because in a second, we're gonna hand off that kettlebell. You know what that means. It's gonna throw our balance. Push into that heel, 90 degrees, both legs. Do a couple more, just like this. Now let's hand it off. So we'll go under. So I'm doing it, handing it off, by getting low, not by dropping in my back. Wait for the row for that. Here we go. Still breathing, guys. Eight, seven, six, five. Focus on your back. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. 
So breathe, keep it in that right hand. Knees are soft, feet a little bit further apart. Flat back, row it up. Just the row, make sure that back is flat. Coming right up by the side. Squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bring it up. How about we, how we put them together, guys? I'm sweating. I don't know about you. Whew. Here we go. So left foot forward, right hand is the dumbbell. I'm going to go left arm out. Drop it low for your starting point. Press up through the heel, bring it up in the row. So again, if you've got one of those heavy kettlebells, and you're working hard, even if you don't, you'll be feeling both. But if it feels like too much, drop it down to just one. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one more. Okay, guys, I kind of cheated that last one, so I that. All right, so let's keep it in that left hand. The right arm's gonna go up this time. Toes are out in the plie. Windmill, straight arm up. Drop it down. When I come up, press up through that opposite leg, through the right leg. So you'll probably notice you're tighter on one side. That's okay, that's normal. It's a flexibility thing. It's not necessarily strength. That's a good reason to work on both. This is such a great exercise because you're getting the stretch, you're working that flexibility while we're strengthening the sides and obliques. Keep breathing, spot that bell. Four more, breathe. Four, three, two, last one. Whew, relax, breathe. Awesome, guys, okay. We're almost there, almost time to take it to the mat. Toes are out, let's hold that kettlebell in the center. Breathe, plie down, just drop it low. Not locking out the knees at the top, big squeeze in the glute. Holding the weight at the bottom, you'll feel difference there. One, less in the back and the arms, of course. But also, you're really getting low in those inner thighs and glutes. If you can, touch it down. If you can do it without dropping in the back, keep it right here. Excellent, guys. We'll go four, three, two, All right, catch your breath, drop that kettlebell down. I'm gonna give you a little break for your hands. Just tap it out, grab water if you need it. So we're gonna to go to a little sequence with our swings. So, breathe. If you don't know how to do the swing, I have an instructional video up, how to do a kettlebell swing. Make sure you watch that first. I can't stress enough that this is a difficult exercise. You wanna learn it in a slow fashion and know all the different parts. It's lots of things to think about. And if you've watched it, or even if you haven't, and you don't want to do the swings today, I'm going to give you another option. So go ahead and grab your kettlebell. Of course, I'm going to review every different part of it, but feet shoulder width apart. If you don't want to do the swings, you can just do a little deadlift, just bending at the hips, hips go back. This is sort of the first part of our swing anyway, so if you want to just stay here or go back to that plie squat, it's totally fine. For the rest of us, we're gonna to go to that swing. So feet slightly wider than shoulder width, lat back, hinge at the hips. Remember those hips going back first. Prep it to the back, hiking the football. Breathe in, power it up, power it up. So remember, your chest is staying lifted, but you're dropping in the chest. It's not a squat. Bending in the knees as we go forward, but it's not a squat. Arms aren't working, that's why the bell is staying pretty low. Breathe out at the top, 
Lock out in those knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then let it swing at the bottom. Drop it down, guys. So you'll notice I was going at a pretty good pace. Just because I've done this for a while, you get kind of used to it. The pacing helps. It helps keep that pendulum swinging so you're not using your muscles to muscle up and using your back. You're locking out the muscles at the top. So if you need to go slower, totally fine. Keep that dumbbell, dumbbell, kettlebell down in the center. We're gonna take it down to a push-up position. So, kettlebells in the center, walk your feet back, hands are wide, and you're just going as low as the kettlebell. So we're just going here to here. So it's kind of nice. May end up being not as low as you normally go on a push-up. That's okay. Abs are in tight. It's a little break from the legs. But of course, lots of upper body and abs. Not doing very many. We'll just go four, three, two, and one. Good guys, walk your feet in and bring it up. Let's go back to that swing. So feet shoulder width apart. Again, if you wanna just keep the deadlift, you can or keep practicing the hinging at the hips. Kettlebell. We're tired, guys, so really focus on your form. Flat back, hinge the hips back. Prep it. Three, two, big deep breath in. Power it up. In, power it up. If you start to feel like your arms are lifting, you gotta power more with the legs. Arms should be relaxed. Squeeze. Nice and straight, lock out at the top. Glutes, lock those knees, squeeze in the legs. Squeeze in the abs, squeeze in the back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, guys, let it swing. Remember, never stop that swing in midair. We don't want it to pull in the back. Drop it down. Catch your breath, guys. Those swings really get your heart rate up. Really drive it up. That's one of the reasons it's such a great exercise. So, if you need a breather, take a breather. We're gonna come back down to that push-up position. So, hands on either side of the kettlebell. This time, no push-up, we're staying in the plank. We're gonna reach over, pull it up in a row, drop it down, other side. So keep those feet wide in that plank, that's gonna help keep you stable. Bring it up, back down, up. What you wanna make sure you don't do is twist in that body. Let's try to keep those hips square. So here, and down, abs in tight, you got it guys, and down, four more, four, three, two more, two, last one, good, walk or hop those feet in, bring it up, good guys, all right, Swing it one more time. You can do this. I know we're tired. We do one more set of swings, one more set down, and then we're taking it all down to the mat. You got this, guys. Work hard. <sighs> Bend your knees to get it. Flat back. Hinge at the hips. Prep it back. Three, two, one. Breathe. <sighs> Drop in the chest. Drop at the hips. Hips go back. <sighs> Not a squat, keep telling yourself, not squatting down. It's more of a deadlift, but hinging the hips back. Power up, lock it out. Here we go. Eight, seven, relax your arms. Six, five, four, three, two. Relax, let it swing. Good guys, breathe. Trust me, if you're new to this, those will get easier. If you feel any pressure in your back, if you feel that lower back, it's working, but it shouldn't feel pain or strain. So take a break, review your form, whatever you need to do. Last time down here, guys. So walk it back. Let's put those two together. You can do it. Push it up. Bring it up in the row. Push it up. Up in the row. You got this, guys. Last thing before we take it down for abs. Push it up. Don't cheat it. You got this. Breathe. 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 
Almost there. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Go ahead, relax. Walk it in, guys. So make sure you don't get like I did. Start to lose your form in the push-up as you get tired. Catch your breath, grab a sip of water. We're gonna take it down to the mat. Okay, so we're down on the mat with our kettlebell. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little twist motion. So if you have one of the heavier kettlebells with me, like I do, then just be careful if it feels like too much in your back, just drop it down, just do the body weight. But we're gonna hold it again by the horns and we're gonna try to touch it all the way down. Touch it all the way down both sides. So if you can get that full rotation, it's hard to do. We kind of just want to keep it here, which is okay. But if you can, touch it and touch it. And if you're wearing a mic, be careful about that mic. Touch down and down. Again, if it feels like too much for your back, you can always keep it smaller or drop the kettlebell completely. You'll feel your arms working too. Touch. If you want more of a challenge, bring those feet up. Drop the knees. Good guys, we'll go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Perfect, drop it down. Let's go all the way down on our back. So let's get a little bit of triceps. So with that kettlebell, we're gonna grab it by the horns again. This time we're gonna hold the bell part up. So just be careful with that. Always have a good grip. Always be aware of where the kettlebell is. So arms are straight up above the shoulders. We're just gonna use that tricep extension. So I'm gonna pull the handle of the kettlebell down towards my forehead and then straight up. Down and then up. So bell part should be up, handle coming towards your forehead. And just like we always say with this tricep extension, we would be moving just from the elbows, not moving the shoulders back and forth. So just make sure you're here. It can be a little bit scary just holding that big kettlebell over your head. So if you don't feel comfortable with that, you can always grab dumbbells. I like it better. I think it's easier to keep those elbows in, which can be tricky if we have two dumbbells. So that's one of the advantages of the kettlebell. So let's keep this motion. And if we want, we can add a little hip bridge to it. I know those glutes and hamstrings have worked really hard with all those squats and lunges, and especially with the swings, but if you want a little extra, just push into the heels, lift, and down, lift, and we'll go four, breathe, three, two, one more. Good, drop that kettlebell down. How about this? How about we give our arms a rest from the kettlebell and just do a very basic crunch. Let's do crunch and reverse. So lift the hips, lift the shoulders. Breathe. We've been holding that kettlebell the whole time. It's nice to get a little break from it. Breathe in, pull that belly button in, lift the shoulders, lift the hips. And we'll go eight. Seven, this is your break, so really breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and roll yourself up. Let's grab that kettlebell again. From a seated position, we're just gonna go back halfway and then pull the knees in. So. If you need a modified version, just bring one knee at a time and keep it really small. And again, you can do it with or without the kettlebell. If you can, get both. It's that little V-sit crunch. Again, kettlebell holding by the horns at the chest. If you really want that challenge, take it back. Bring it up. It's hard to do. Try to use your abs, not your back. And up. And we'll go a couple more. Keep breathing everything in. Again, you can keep it small with just the knees or both ones small. We're all the way down. Three, two, and one. Good. Take the knees out. Stretch out through the back. I know what you're thinking. I said a couple more and then we did like ten more. Whew. Something I do. I don't know the meaning of a couple, apparently, according to my clients. Okay, let's take it all the way down. So we're here 
holding the kettlebell right at the chest. Let's bring those feet up and just a little chest press. Just lift and lower. So again, your grip is close. It's that close grip press. Getting a little bit of tries, a little bit of chest. Breathe. Good. And we'll go three, two. Hold it at the top. And let's lower the legs for abs. So you can just go halfway. You know, our abs are tired, we're almost done. If you want more of that challenge, drop it down low, but make sure you keep that back flat. And just be aware, you've got that kettlebell right up top. And then if you want, we can add the triceps to it. So bend again towards the forehead, bring it up, down and up. If that feels like too much, just do the triceps or just do the abs. We're so close to being done. Keep breathing. And let's get two more. Breathe. Two triceps and abs. Last one. And relax. Drop that kettlebell down by the side. Reach it up. Stretch. Hop those knees in. Last thing. So go ahead and bring it up. So we're going to take it, we're going to turn it over on our mat. We're going to put that kettlebell down in the center. We're just going to come up in a full plank over it. So up on our hands, I know they're tired. We're here. And you're just going to start and you're just going to bring the knee towards the kettlebell. So just gently touching it. You don't actually even have to touch it, just bring it towards it. So start with just that. It's just giving you a place to go with the knees. And if you're feeling good about that, let's bring it a little closer towards our hands. Let's give ourselves a challenge. So what we're doing is we're doing a crunch with that plank. So try to bring it all the way in. It's hard to do, but trust me, you'll really feel those abs if you can. Careful on the knees. If you're getting tired and getting sloppy, you feel like you're gonna hit your knee, just take that kettlebell out of the way. Just doing these. We'll go eight, breathe, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Stretch it back, guys. Take that kettlebell out of the way. Reach it forward. Let your head. And neck drop, really reach those fingertips forward, stretch back into that child pose. So hips to the back, hands forward, breathe. Really reach long through the fingertips, stretching out the lats, all through your back. Okay guys, and just very slowly come down on your back. So with those swings and all of our leg work, we got a lot of hamstrings, so let's bring one leg up. Grab either underneath the thigh or the calf, not on the joint, flex the foot and bring it in. And obviously pretty tight there, but we're gonna try to pull in more. Pull the toe towards you, get a deeper stretch. Nice job, everybody. Hopefully you're as tired as me. Cross it over. Maybe as sweaty as me. If you're in LA where it's still 100 degrees, press that top knee down so you're reaching underneath. Top knee down, you can relax your upper body. Extend it up. You should already be grabbing on the back of the thigh. Get that hip stretch, pressing the top knee down as we pull in with that lower leg. And just Good work, guys. Go ahead and roll it up nice and slow. 
sit cross-legged. Just let the knees drop to the side. Maybe bring your feet in front, actually. Just press out gently and just round through your back. Get that left stretch there. And let's reach those hands forward. Stretching out the back. Lots of arms and shoulders working with the kettlebell. Kettlebell is not easy, it's very challenging, but that's why we love it. That is your kettlebell workout. Great job, everybody.